high with a variety of home-based peels and exfoliants that are available today in the market. We are seeing a lot of people who are over exfoliating and they are damaging the skin barrier. So today in this video, I'll tell you how to recognize the damaged skin barrier, what are the causes, how to treat it, what are the things to avoid and I'll also recommend some products that you can use to repair your skin barrier. So let's get started. So how to know if your skin barrier is damaged? If your skin appears red, flaky, itchy, irritated, stretchy, feels excessively dry, if you feel that even after applying a moisturizer your skin still feels dry or your, your skin has kind of a burning sensation whenever you apply something on your skin or your skin is looking too aged and your fine lines and wrinkles are becoming more prominent, these point towards the fact that your skin barrier might be damaged. So what are the causes for damaged skin barrier? First is over exfoliation. If you're using these chemical solutions or too frequently, that can lead to damage in skin barrier. Second reason is if you're using too many products. I know there are a lot of products in the market and you tend to get this FOMO, you know, fear of missing out, feeling that you need everything on your skin. But no, you need to correct only two of your main skin concerns first. Once that is corrected, then you move on. Okay, don't try to layer too many products that can just end up irritating your skin and damaging your skin barrier. Third is if you have atopic dermatitis, that is a condition where your skin is not able to retain moisture, does not make enough oils and that leads to very dry skin. Fourth is dry skin. Having dry skin predisposes you to develop damaged skin barrier. It predisposes you to develop redness, itching, flaking. So you need to take care of it. Fifth is using drying products on acne. So when you have acne, we can use products such as salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide or tretinoin or dapilene. These products, if not used correctly, can irritate the skin further and damage your skin barrier. Why is it important to maintain skin barrier? Skin barrier protects our skin from external stressors. It maintains hydration on the skin. It maintains the moisture level on the skin. So maintaining the healthy skin barrier is very important. It helps in recovering the skin. So if you have dark spots or dry skin and your barrier is damaged, then the recovery process becomes longer. Your dark spots will remain on your skin for longer and it also tends to make your skin appear more dull. That is why repairing your skin barrier taking care of using products that are good for skin barrier, good for retaining moisture in the skin is very important. So if exfoliation is causing all these problems, then how often should you exfoliate? I'm talking about these home-based peeling solutions. How often should you use them? If you have oily skin, use it once in a week to about twice in a month. If you have dry skin, use it only once in a month. If you have sensitive skin, be very, very careful. I would suggest avoid the peeling solutions entirely. So if you have damaged skin barrier, what are the products that you need to avoid? You need to avoid products that can irritate the skin further, that causes exfoliation or shedding of skin along with products that can have an irritation potential. So you need to avoid retinoids, avoid a vitamin C, you need to avoid glycolic acid, salicylic acid. So all those AHA, BHA creams should not be used when you have damaged skin barrier. I say vitamin C because vitamin C can sometimes cause a lot of irritation, especially L-ascorbic acid can irritate the skin and slow the process of skin barrier recovery. So that is why avoid vitamin C. So what to use in order to repair your skin barrier? Use creams that contain soothing ingredients like ceramide, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, bisobolol, pantothenol, allantoin, green tea. These ingredients help in reducing inflammation on the skin, help in soothing the skin and repairing barrier. So look for these ingredients in your serums, in your moisturizers. I have a few recommendations coming up. So what is the order of application? How should you layer these products? First, you'll use a very gentle cleanser. Then you can use an essence or a serum. Then use a moisturizer, which should be thick moisturizing, which will suit your skin type. And then you're going to use a sunscreen. This will be your morning routine. At night, I suggest you only use a good moisturizer that itself is enough to repair your skin skin overnight. So few product recommendations are for face wash you need something gentle so do not use a foaming face wash go for a non-foaming face wash so you can use Episoft face wash, Cetaphil face wash, Dot & Key barrier repair face wash, CeraVe face wash which is a hydrating cleanser. You can use an ordinary squalane cleanser. These are 
good options if you have a damaged skin barrier. Now, what creams can you use? Like I said, you have to look for soothing ingredients like I mentioned before, ceramide, hyaluronic acid, bisabolol, allantoin, green tea, niacinamide. These are the ingredients that you want to look for in your serums and creams. So, a few recommendations are V-Green Daily Moisturizer, Dot and Key Sika Calming Skin Renewing Night Gel, Dot and Key Skin Barrier Repair Cream, the Dermaco Ceramide Cream, Minimalist B5 Moisturizer, Ceramide Plus Bisabolol Cream by Minimalist, Suganda Ceramide Moisturizer. Now, what are the serums that you need to use? Avoid serums that contain glycolic acid, salicylic acid or a retinol. This can cause irritation. So you want to use serums with soothing ingredients. Few recommendations are Dr. Shade's Sika Ceramide Night Repair Serum, Dr. Shade's Centella Niacinamide Serum, The Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc Serum, Minimalist 5% Niacinamide Serum. I have a special mention for an essence. I really like this essence because it helps in repairing skin barrier. It feels very soothing on the skin. It is anti-inflammatory, reduces redness, also is very calming on the skin. It is the Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence. This works really well. If you are somebody with sensitive skin that cannot tolerate too many products, then also this product will suit you. So you can use this essence on a cleansed face before you go on with your serum or a moisturizer. Now, now few recommendations for a sunscreen. Go for a plain zinc oxide sunscreen because if you have irritated skin, any kind of chemical filter may irritate your skin further and may increase your chances of getting dark spots, okay? So you can go for a pure physical sunscreen. Few recommendations are the Dermaco Pure Zinc Sunscreen, La Shield Physico Sunscreen, Neutrogena Pure Zinc Sunscreen. These are few of my favorites. So repairing skin barrier is very important. Remember that your skin is an organ that protects your body from external environment, external stressors. So keeping it healthy is very important. You can use all these products that can help in soothing your skin and getting the healthy skin barrier back. I hope you found this video useful. If you like such skin and hair related content, you can follow me on my Instagram handle Dr. Anchil MD where I post such skin and hair related content daily. Thank you for watching.